Borderline Personality Disorder. A disorder with your personality. I'm very loyal when it comes to friends and significant others. In the eyes of the law, sometimes I'm too loyal. You become my friend or my girlfriend, and then you decide you no longer want to be my friend or my girlfriend, and well then we have an issue because I'm still loyal and I'm going to be your friend till the end. We're going to be friends forever. No matter how many times you tell me not to come around or to stop following you or move, change your number, it don't matter. I'll find you and then we'll be friends. You try to leave me, the first thing I'm going to do is anger. I'm going to get mad and try to bully you into staying. If that doesn't work, then it'll start with the guilt. I'll be the victim. How can you abandon me? How can you leave me after all this time? One I, I like to use a lot is, you said you would love me forever. See, I trick you. Going into a relationship, I already know that you're going to leave me. Already. So once we get into the relationship, I will tell them. I'm like, you know you're going to leave me. You're going to get sick of me someday and you're just going to leave. The reason I'm doing that is so that when they do leave, I can say, I told you so. I'm plotting it already. Because being in love and everything, they never imagine they're going to leave me. They're not thinking they're going to leave me. They don't know the hell that I'm about to put them through for the next 10 years. They have no clue. Right now, it's great. I'm borderline, so I'm very empathic. I know exactly what they want. And I am the guy they want. I shower them with attention and affection that they have not ever experienced. Borderlines do make the best lovers. It's, it's a proven fact. Because of that heightened emotion, we make sure that we go out of our way to please our partners. So it's great for a bit. I am emotionally unstable. You know, let's say I decide to become psycho and you, you come home you're supposed to get off work at 5. You're always home by 6. You're never home later than 6. So 5 o'clock, I'm excited because you just got off work. And I just cannot live without you. And I've been waiting all day to see you. So I'm super excited, like, in that high, yeah, waiting for you to get home. Closer and closer to 6, it gets the more irritated I start to get because you should be home by now. Well, now it's 610 and you come walking in the door. I am pissed. I don't care why you're late. I, I don't care because you have abandoned me. At 6 o'clock, you had abandoned me. I was nothing. You had left. In my mind, you've shacked up with some other dude and getting married to him. I don't know. But you've made your escape. I'll never see you again. So when you walk in, I'm pissed. And so we get into an argument, and I push you against a wall or something. Now, that was totally uncalled for. I didn't let you explain anything. I got physical, horrible stuff. By the end of that night, I am going to have churned it around. Like, you know, it was your fault because you weren't home on time. It doesn't matter if you got a flat tire, there was traffic. It doesn't matter. When the time does come where you've decided to leave, I'm going to remind you that you are a liar. You deceived me. The whole thing was just a big old F you to me. You'd planned it from the get-go. You never liked me. You just wanted me to fall in love with you so you could abandon me, so you could see the look on my face. Well, I hope it makes you happy now. Yep, be ready for that. Also be ready for the phone calls that don't end, the text messages that don't end. Of course I'll be coming by wherever you're staying because I need to talk to you. 
your job? <laughs> yep, you better let them know. I'm going to be showing up. I'll be there before you start work. I may even hang out there the whole time you're on shift. It's been known to happen a couple times. I've stayed at my ex's place of employment just outside the entire day. Leaving a borderline is very difficult. There's no easy way to leave a borderline. I hate to say it, but it's almost the best way. Well, I mean, if I was going to leave a borderline, I would probably wait until they were at work or something and just move out and be gone and not let them know where I was going. I know, that's horrible, but I'm a coward like that. I don't want to deal with all the bullshit they're going to put me through. I just, yeah, I just sneak away. Hell, I might not even grab my shit. I might just say, F screw it, and just, you're sleeping. I crawl out the window and I just go to Mexico. I'm glad I've never dated a borderline. I'd have no stuff and be in Mexico. How are you when a relationship ends? Do you do the leaving, or are you the lefty? How do you process it? Let me know in the comments section below. Would you give a bum change? That bum is most likely going to go buy butane lighter fluid. You could go check out my Patreon page, make a donation of $3, and you know exactly where that money's going. We are so close to 100 subscribers. We are two away, two. Two away, which means somebody right now watching could hit that subscribe button and become our 100th subscriber. So hit the subscribe button. We're going for 100, then 500, 1,000, and then the world. Yes, we're taking over the world one subscriber at a time. So get on board because you do not want to be that last person to subscribe. Trust me, that's not going to be a good place to be. Until next time, keep on keeping on. Wonder how many dates I'll be getting after that video. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-